Hi, everybody. This is Debbie with Artist Hustle TV. I am so excited. You clicked on this video because you want to build a fan base in your music career, whether you're a producer, you're an artist, whatever it is, you want to build a fan base. And I want to walk you through a system and something that's going to help you understand where your fans are and how you can develop a system throughout the journey of discovering and becoming loyal fans of your music. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Visit our website, artisthustle.com for everything that you need to know. And make sure you sign up for our VIP email list. And uh, I've cracked out my whiteboard today. So let me know if you can see this. I'm just going to run down through this. Um, post anything in the comments if you're watching it live. If you're watching the recap, go ahead and comment below any questions or anything that you have. So I saw this graphic on um, bandzoogle.com and it was amazing and I loved it because it literally walked you from the moment someone finds out about your music all the way to the point where they're your loyal fans. They love you. They want to buy any and everything for you. And I think that it's really important for you to determine like, what does that look like? I know people are like, why do I need to know this information? Because you have to develop a system where you say, okay, from the moment that they know about who I am to the moment where they start purchasing and different things like that, you need to have a model and a system of you understanding where you where they are in the journey of being your fan. So let's jump, let's jump into it. So the first thing they go over is the discovery. Okay. So they go over the discovery phase. This is pretty much when they find out about you. So let's say you have a a music blog or you got an interview or um, let's see, word of mouth, like someone told them about what you do. So this is kind of just like, how did you hear about me? How did you hear about my stuff? You know, somebody recommended them to you. Like, you know what? I love their stuff. You should check it out. Right. So this is the discovery phase here. So this is where they discover you. They figure out who you are, what you've done, you know, who this person is. And then when you drop down to now, they're like, okay, now I know who this person is. This is the explore when they explore. So that's when they go on Google and they say, you know what? I want to Google you. I want to see who you are. I want to see what you're about. So they go to your social media, right? They're like, who is this person, right? They go to social media. They may look at some of your albums. They may even... Um, Look at your tour dates. If you are touring, I know we're still in the middle of COVID, but people are still having show dates and different things like that. They may get into your media kit. They may just try to figure out who you are, what you've done, what you have going on. So they discover who you are. Now they know your name. Now we're at the exploration. So most people, they know their fans are right here, right? They're, they're right here. They're mostly, <laughs> they stay kind of right here in the explore. So you kind of want to get them from knowing who you are and exploring your website and your social media and different things like that. And you want to push them into this page, which is the purchase. OK, the purchase phase. So this is when they're starting to spend money on you. And the first way to do it, obviously, is subscribe. So if they start to subscribe to you. We always say subscribe here on YouTube. If they decide to um, buy a ticket to your show or buy a beat, if you're a producer, and let's say you have um, products. So if you have merch, this is where they're buying your merch. This is whatever you want to offer to them. This could be even services. I know some artists, they literally, they're tattoo artists or they do other things outside of music, but this is where they're making money now. So a lot of people have issues with getting to this point, right? They know you on social media, they, they, have, they know about your album, maybe they got it for free, but now you gotta get them to the purchase. You know, have they actually purchased with you? Have they bought a beat? Have they done a service with you? Have they bought merchandising? Have they subscribed to anything that you have going on? So you, a lot of people get stuck between the explore and the purchase, right? And so let's get to the next phase. So once someone purchases from you, the next level of the fan journey is retention. So you want to, once they've already made money, you've made money with them, you want to retain them. Like, why would you not want to retain them? Anytime you go to a store, think about this. Anytime that you go to a store, they always say, hey, we have a free loyalty program. Just give us your phone number, right? 
and you start to get emails and you start to get, you have to start thinking like that as a business. You have to think, how do I retain these people? Okay. I don't want them to just buy one ticket from me. I don't want them to just buy one piece of t-shirt or a whatever, just a one-time purchase. I want this to be a retention thing where it's a reoccurring income for myself. So if you think about, okay, there's social followers. There's also, let's say you have your mailing list as well, obviously. Hi, I see people coming on. And also you have, let's say you have subscriptions, right? Let's say you have Bandcamp, you have subscriptions and different things like that. So how are you retaining them? Do you have a VIP list? Do you have certain clubs? Some people, they do... Um, they do different um, monthly services where they have VIP content that they do with their, their followers and different things like that to retain them, to get them excited. And they'll do like exclusive content. So you have to figure out what that's going to look like for you. But the last one that they go over is someone that's your advocate, right? So this means this is like the ultimate. This is really where you want a lot of people or a good amount, depending on what you're trying to do. This is when they're engaging with you on social media. So they're not just looking at your page and not doing anything. They're actually engaging. They're liking it. They're going to go buy your things. They're signing up for your stuff. They're engaging with it. And then they're telling other people. So word of mouth, they are actually recommending them you to their friends, right? That's when you know, like, okay, my fans really love me. They really do. And then also, if you think about streaming, right, the playlists. So if they are subscribing to you on Spotify, or if they're going to find out where your music is, is where your products are, and they are streaming it, they're buying it, they're sharing it. And they're saying, you know what, I want to be a part of any and everything you have going on. And so you have to think about what does this all look like, right? I kind of went through this kind of fast. But if you don't know, a lot of people, like I said before, a lot of people get stuck between explore and purchase. Or if you did purchase something, it's only like a one time right? A one-time purchase. And you don't want that. What you want is you want, you want to get them from knowing who you are, knowing your name. And then once they figure out they, they've been on your page for a little bit, they checked up, checked out your website. That's also a website as well. Cause you know, explore is a part of website. They'll Google you. And once you convince them enough to give you value you want them to not just subscribe to you on YouTube or, or like you on Instagram because you don't own that channel. You want to, by the time you get to purchase, you want to collect data on this person, email, phone number, whatever it is, and stay in contact with them to retain them. So this level right here, how do I retain my followers? What What's my game plan? So let's say, you know what, Deb? No, I don't have an issue. I've had them purchase from me, right? But what's your retention game plan? What does that look like? And let's say you have a you know you have them on your mailing list, you have them subscribe to something, um, or okay, that's fine. But where are you when it comes to them being your advocates? Where they're sharing things, they're telling other people, they are posting things, they're helping you promote things, they're telling any and everybody about what you do. Where are you at? And ask yourself if you think about discover, explore, purchase, retention, and, and their advocates. Where are you at in your fans journey, right? Where are you and where, where can you be and where will you challenge yourself to get to in this year? And so I love this uh, graphic that they had. It, it was for mainly SEO, but really it can be for anything. If you're trying to build a fan base and this can not just, it's not just about musicians. It's anybody really in business. They discover who you are. They explore, they, they go find out who you are and what you, what you're about. So they're kind of interested. And then, enough time. So this is the thing about explore and purchase. People have to hear about you enough. I believe the statistics about seven different times, seven to 10 different times before they purchase from you. And that does not mean every post is buy my music, buy my music, buy my music, or purchase my beat or come to my, it's not always about that. It's about giving value. The, the difference between getting to explore, this is value. What did you do? Like, oh, wow, I cannot spell today. <laughs> value, value. So what did you do between explore and purchase? And then this is another value add right here. If you want them to be retained, like once they purchase from you, what other value can you add to their lives? What's something different? What's something new? And what's something creative that you can retain them now that they bought from you? 
what's the next level of the ad, the value that you can give to them, right? What is something different? What is something that they do not have right now that they would love? If it's exclusive content, if it's exclusive gear, whatever it is, that it's just all value add. And then this is the results, right? When they become your advocacy, this is the results of giving value from all the way up, all the way down. So let me know if you have any comments or questions. Make sure you come back and review this, share this video with other people in the music industry and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks again for watching Artist Hustle TV. I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>